Hi guys, in this video we're going to take a look at how to create custom brushes, which are useful tools that we can create custom uh, volumes from. For instance, you can do trigger volumes or any other type of volume you want to do. You can use them to create custom static meshes or area classes. So they're just really useful to create a bunch of different stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we create one from scratch. Okay, to start creating our brush, we go to Modes, Brush Editing, we select the pen tool and then we set the extrude depth which is how tall the brush will be I'll just set mine to 100 and then to use the pen on the screen we need to be in an orthographic view so we'll choose top down and to draw the brush we'll plot the points using the spacebar and if we make a mistake and we want to delete a point we can hit the escape key but let's continue drawing our custom shape and when we're done and we've placed the last point that we want, we can hit enter and it'll automatically complete your brush. Then we can select edit and we can change any of the points we want. And when we're satisfied, we can go ahead and put the pen tool away by going back to modes and hitting select. And then we can leave the orthographic view and go back to perspective view. And here we can see the brush that we just created but we want to try to optimize it before we use it. So really quick, let's go back to Modes and Brush Editing, and then we'll hit Optimize, and we'll see that it tried to minimize some of the faces, and then we'll go ahead and go back to Select. Now we're going to select one of those faces by clicking on it, and we'll come down here to Geometry, and we'll select all adjacent surfaces, and we want to give them all the same alignment, so for this example, we'll choose floor. So now we can see the grid pattern is perfectly lined up. This is so that when you attach materials to this, they'll all be aligned. And then we also want to come down to polygons and we want to merge them and we want to choose a solidity. I'll just choose solid for this example. Okay, so that was a quick and easy way to create custom brushes. And like I said, those are very useful for creating other tools that you'll need, like volumes and things like that. And we'll check those out in some future videos. But for now, I hope this helped. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in some more videos.